The Game Boy has no shortage of puzzle games, and while I love Tetris, Dr. Mario, and Yoshi's Cookie as much as the next guy, block stacking games start to get old after a while. Sometimes it's nice to play something a bit different. Enter Bubble Ghost, an action puzzle game developed by Opera House and published by FCI. Originally released on home computers in the late 80s, Bubble Ghost was later ported to the Nintendo Game Boy in 1990. You play as a nameless ghost living in a castle who comes across a single bubble. The goal? Gently blow the bubble through all 35 rooms of the castle and avoid bursting it on environmental hazards and castle walls. It's a simple concept and there's not much to it, but that's part of its appeal. The first room is hilariously easy. I mean, if you fail this thing, something's seriously wrong. You control the direction of the bubble by moving the ghost around it, and he'll automatically blow the bubble in the direction he's facing. It's a little awkward at first, but after playing for a few minutes, it'll become second nature. You do have to interact with certain objects at a few points in the game, like blowing out this candle or turning this fan off, and that's pretty much it. I wish there was more of this, and it's a little disappointing that there isn't. I also found myself wondering why they put some of these objects in the levels, such as this rollerblade, this TV, or this teddy bear, when you weren't able to interact with them. They're just for show, and I wish there was more environmental interactivity to diversify the gameplay. That being said, the simple pick-up-and-play approach given a Bubble Ghost is what made me keep coming back to it. After a bit of practice, I found myself soaring through the first 15 or so levels without failing, and getting farther through the castle every time. It's a trial and error kind of game, and when you finally get past an especially challenging room, it's incredibly satisfying. For instance, Room 26 looks easy enough, but these fans drove me absolutely insane, bursting my bubble every time until I found out I had to blow the bubble towards the fan, not away from it, and I passed it on the first try. Bubble Ghost is all about quick reflexes and intense focus. There is a time limit, though it's pretty forgiving, and I never had the timer run out on me. You are also given three continues and five lives, which makes finishing all 35 rooms possible with a bit of practice. The art style of Bubble Ghost is charming to say the least. The simple, clean graphics are appealing, and that ghost is so friggin' cute! Also, I can't talk about Bubble Ghost without mentioning its awesome music. Though there's only one tune in the game, it's a damn catchy one. There's only a handful of truly great soundtracks on the original Game Boy, but Bubble Ghost's one of them. The track was written by Japanese game composer Hitoshi Sakamoto, who went on to write music for some very renowned games, such as Final Fantasy Tactics, Bloody Roar, Dragon Quest VI, and Final Fantasy XII. I absolutely love this track, though it unfortunately does get a bit grating after it loops for the 85th time, especially in some of the more frustrating levels. Overall, Bubble Ghost is really an addictive and unique game, unlike anything I've played before, and it's simple to learn pick up and play game design, along with its cheap asking price of $7 on eBay, make it an easy recommendation. If you're growing tired of Tetris and Super Mario Land, give Bubble Ghost a try. This is BTC, until next time.